afternoon. In the last class, we discussed with divergent and curl of a vector field. Today, I am going to continue the problems on the divergent and curl of a vector field. Find the curl of curl A vector given A vector is equal to x y i cap plus y square j cap plus z square y k cap. So, here curl A vector means del cross A vector. Del cross A vector is equal to determinant i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z. Then, if A vector component is i component is x y, j component is y squared z and z component is z component is z square x. Now, you can differentiating partially, you can determine expansion i into uh, leave the first one first column, then dou by dou x of z square x differentiating partially with respect to uh, y, then it is 0, then dou by dou x, dou by dou z of differentiation is minus y square minus j vector. If you differentiating partially with respect to um, uh, x, then that is 0 and differentiating partial with respect to z is 0 plus k vector. So, here first you can k vector is dou by dou k leave the first row and third column uh, then dou by dou x of x is 0 dou by dou y is minus x then a z square minus y square i cap plus 0 j cap plus x k cap. Then again for, uh, find out curl of curl A vector. Curl of curl A vector again you have to apply curl then i j k dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z z square minus y square 0 x. Then you can expand the determinant expansion you get the value 0 i vector plus 1 plus 2 z j vector plus 2 y k cap. Next five, if f vector is equal to 3 x squared y minus z i cap plus x z cube plus y to the power of 4 j cap minus 2 x cube z square k cap find gradient of divergent of f factor at 2 comma minus 1 comma 0. So, here first you can find out divergent of f factor. Divergent of f factor means uh, that is dou f 1 by dou x plus dou f 2 by dou y plus dou f 3 by dou z. Then dou f 1 by dou x means differentiating partially with respect to x i component you get 6 x y. Similarly, the I j component differentiating partially with respect to y, you get 4 x z cube is 0, y to the power of 4 differentiation is 4 y 3. Next, k component differentiation is dou f 3 by dou z is 2 x cube is constant, z square differentiation is 2 z minus 4 x cube z that is z component, the f 3 component. Then divergent of f factor is equal to 6 x y plus 4 y cube minus 4 x cube z. Uh, similarly, you can find out gradient of divergent of f factor. Uh, gradient of divergent of f factor means here di divergent you know you have to find out gradient. Then divergent uh, gradient of divergent of f factor then divergent of f factor you know divergent of f factor equals 6 x y plus 4 y cube minus 4 x squared z this is divergent of a factor uh, for a x cube 4 x cube z this is divergent of a factor. Now, you can find out gradient of divergent of a factor that means this is entire thing dou by dou by dou x of i vector plus dou by dou y of divergent of a factor j cap plus dou by dou z of uh, divergent of f factor into k cap. See here if you differentiating partially with respect to x entire thing what do you get if you differentiating partially with respect to x is here 6 x y 6 y is constant the next differentiation one is 6 y minus here 4 x cube z is 12 x squared z into i cap. Next plus differentiating partially with respect to y means 6 x here plus 12 y squared into j cap plus differentiating partially with respect to z is then what you get here 6 x y is 0 this is 0 minus 4 x cube into k cap. Now, you know you already find out gradient of divergent of f factor. Now, you can substitute at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 0. If you for substitute gradient of divergent of f factor at the point 2 comma 
at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 0 put x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 z equal to 0 this is 0 then y is equal to minus 1 then see if this is first term is minus 6 i cap here you can substitute x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 z equal to uh, 0 then it becomes 24 j vector here x is equal to uh, 2 and y is equal to minus 1 z equal to 0 this becomes minus 32 k cap this is gradient of divergent of f factor at the point 2 comma minus 1 comma 0. Next for what value of a does the vector f factor is equal to a x squared y plus y z into i cap plus x y z y squared minus x z squared j cap plus 2 x y z minus 2 x squared y squared k cap. So, here you can find out divergent of f factor first. Divergent of f factor means here you can differentiating partial with respect to x do that is divergent of f means do f 1 by do x plus do f 2 by do y plus do f 3 by do z. So, here divergent of f factor means divergent of f factor equals do f 1 by do x plus do f 2 by do y plus do f 3 by do z. See here first the given equation is f factor first i component is f 1 that is differentiating partial with respect to x a x squared y differentiation is 2 a x y 2 a x y you can substitute remaining is 0 plus similarly differentiating partial with respect to j, j component x y squared is there x y squared differentiation is uh, you can differentiating partial with respect to y 2 x y only that is plus 2 x y plus the k component if you differentiating partial with respect to z is you get 2 x y that is plus 2 x y this is equal to 2 a x y plus 4 e x y here you can substitute a is equal to minus 2 then it is 0 divergence if a equal to minus 2 this becomes minus 4 x y plus 4 x y equal to 0 this is divergent of f factor is called the as 0 divergence. Now we have to find out curl f factor curl f factor means you have to write the curl f factor curl f factor means you know del del is equal to do by do x of i vector plus do by do y of j vector plus do by do z of k vector this is the um, differential operator that is del is called the differential operator then f factor you know what is f factor is given in the problem you can find out the curl of f factor curl del cross f factor equals i vector j vector k vector do by do x do by do y do by do z then first call if f1 is a x squared y a x squared y plus y next x y squared minus x z square next k component is y squared 2 x y z 2 x y z minus 2 x squared y squared 2 x squared y squared. Now, you can expand determinant expand this is plus minus plus this is equal to i vector. See here you can leave the first row and first column dou by dou by differentiating this term is differentiating partially with respect to y means 2 x z minus here 2 x squared y squared differentiation is 4 x squared y 4 x squared y minus j vector you can leave the first row and second column dou by dou x means differentiating partial with respect to x is here what you get 2 x y z 2 x y z nothing but is so here if you differentiating partially with respect to x is here 2 y z minus here differentiating partially with respect to x is 4 x y squared minus of dou by dou z if you differentiating partially with respect to z that is 0. Next plus k vector you can leave the first row and third column dou by dou x is here dou by dou x means x differentiation uh, is 1 y square here z square my z square minus of this dou by dou differentiating partially with respect to y a x square plus y a x squared plus 1 sorry y differentiation is 1 a x squared plus 1 this is the uh, curl of a vector field required result. 
Next, if f factor is equal to 3 x squared i cap plus 5 x y squared j cap plus x y z cube k cap at the point 1 comma 2 comma 3, find divergent of f factor. Find divergent of f factor means del dot f factor. Here, divergent of f factor means del dot f factor is equal to dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z. Now, you can uh, differentiating partially with respect to x, y, z that is your f i j component differentiating partial with respect to x, j component differentiating partial with respect to y and k component differentiating partial with respect to z. This is dou f 3 by dou z. Here f 1 first i component is 3 x square, 3 x square differentiation is 6 x this is dou f 1 by dou x. Similarly, j component differentiation is partial with respect to y is that is 10 x y plus 10 x y. Next, uh, k component differentiating is x y z cube differentiation is here so 3 x y z square 3 plus 3 x y z square this is gradient of f at the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 you can substitute at the point 1 comma 2 comma 3 put x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 z is equal to 3 then uh, 6 plus 10 uh, plus 10 into 2 is 20 this is 20 plus put x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 z is equal to that is 54 then you get 80. Next find curl find curl of x y z i cap plus 3 x squared y j cap plus 3 x 3 uh, plus x z square minus y square z k cap find the curl of factor that means curl of factor means i vector determinant of i cap j cap k cap dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z then i component coefficient differentiating partial with respect to x is what you get here uh, we can write i component is x y z you can write j component is 3 x squared y k component is x z square minus y squared z now you can determine the expansion. So, here curl of f factor del cross f factor is equal to determinant i cap j cap k cap dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z here you can write i component is x y z j component is 3 x squared y then k component is x z square minus y squared into z see and now you can determine the expansion this is plus minus plus i vector you can leave the first row and first column dou by dou x if you dou by dou x means differentiating partially with respect to y x z square is 0 minus y square differentiation is minus 2 y z next minus of dou by dou z means differentiating partially with respect to z there is no z term is 0 next minus j vector can leave the first row second column dou by dou x means here z square x differentiation is y square is 0 then dou by dou z is minus x y. Next plus k vector third term you can leave the first row and third column dou by dou x means 6 x y here the minus of dou by dou y means e minus x z this is the required result. Find the divergence and the curl of the vector f factor is given f factor is x y z plus y square z i cap plus 3 x square y plus y square z k j cap plus x z square minus y square z k cap uh, divergent of f we can find out. So, uh, now uh, divergent of f factor means you can write a uh, divergent of f factor formula is divergent of f is equal to dou f 1 by dou x del dot f factor equals dou f 1 by dou x plus dou f 2 by dou y plus dou f 3 by dou z. Sir, the given problem is f factor that is i component can be taken as f 1 that is you can differentiating partially with respect to x. Sir, if you differentiating partially with respect to x, x y z here y z is constant x differentiation is 1 you get y z y square z is 0 you get y z dou f 1 by dou z dou x value is y z. Similarly, you can differentiating partially with respect to j component. With
respect to y. Then with respect to y is 3 x squared y differentiation is 3 x squared y squared z is 2 y z 3 x squared plus 3 x squared plus 2 y z this is the uh, j component differentiation. Next similarly k component is if you differentiating partially with respect to z then x z square means 2 x z plus 2 x z minus if uh, y squared z differentiation is minus y squared z differentiation is 1 that is minus y squared. This is divergent of f factor. Similarly, you can find out curl f factor here curl f factor is equal to i cap j cap k cap dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z then you can write down the i component is x y z plus y squared z. Next 3 x squared y 3 x squared y plus y squared z. Next x z square minus y squared z this is the determinant forum. Now, we have to expand the determinant expansion if i this is equal to i vector you can leave the first row first column dou by dou i of this if differentiating partially with respect to y x z square is 0 minus y squared z is minus 2 y z. Next minus of here dou by dou z means differentiating partial with respect to z is this is 0 y squared is constant z different this is y squared. Next minus j vector you can leave the first row second column dou by dou x of this dou by dou x means only z square is constant x differentiation is 1. Next dou by dou z of this means minus z differentiation is 1 x y y square z is minus y square only. Next k vector you can leave the first row and third column dou by dou x dou by dou x means here 6 x y then this is 0 dou by dou y means minus x z minus 2 y z this is the required result. Next prove that divergent of curl a vector equal to 0 prove that divergent of curl a vector equal to 0 means you have to a vector is given what is a vector is given a vector is equal to a 1 i vector plus a 2 j vector plus a 3 k vector a vector is given a 1 i vector plus a 2 j vector plus a 3 k vector. Now, you have to prove that uh, divergent of curl a vector first you can find out curl a vector curl a vector you can find out curl a vector means you know del del is equal to dou by dou x of i vector dou by dou y of j vector dou by dou z k vector this is the differential operator del then curl a vector equals determinant i vector j vector k vector dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z here a 1, a 2, a 3 this is the determinant form. Now, you can expand it this equals i vector you can leave the first row first row and first column dou by dou y of a 3 that is dou by dou y of a 3 minus dou by dou a 2 by dou z minus j vector you can leave the first row and second column dou by dou x means dou of a 3 by dou x minus dou of a 1 by dou z plus k vector plus k vector you can leave the first row and third column dou by dou by dou x of a 2 minus dou by dou y of a 1 this is curl of a vector. Now, you have to find out divergent of curl of a vector. What is divergent? Divergent means shear. Divergent means divergent of f factor means dou f 1 by dou x plus dou f 2 by dou y plus dou f 3 by dou z divergent. Now, you have to find out divergent of curl of a vector then dou by dou x of this dou by this is i component this is dou by dou x this is dou by dou y this is dou by dou z. See here dou by dou x of 
डो ए थ्री बै डो वै मैन डो ए टू बै डो जेड इंटू हियर डो एफ वन बै डवर्जेंट आफ कर्लिय वेक्टर कर्लिय वेक्टर मीन डो बै डो एक्स आफ डो ए थ्री बै डो वै मैन डो ए टू बै डो जेड दिस डो बै डो एक्स प्लस डो बै डो वै आफ दिस मैन यू कैन रईट मैन यू टू मलटिप्लाय दिस मैन डो ए वन बै डो जेड मैन डो ए थ्री बै डो एक्स प्लस डो बै डो जेड आफ इर डो ए टू बै डो एक्स मैन डो ए वन बै डो वै दिस इर डो बै डिफरशियेटिंग पार्शियल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स दिस टर्म दे नो एक्स टर्म जीरो इर दे नो वै टर्म जीरो Here there is no z term is zero. Then divergent of curve, divergent of curve vector equal to zero. Next, prove that curl of gradient of phi equal to zero. First, we can find out gradient of phi. Gra phi is uh, gradient of phi means phi can be, uh, gradient of phi can be written as do phi by do x i cap. Gradient of phi can be written as gradient of phi can be written as do phi by do x i vector do phi by do y j vector plus do phi by do z k vector this is gradient of f vector now you have to find out curl of gradient of vector curl means you can find out del del can be written as do by do x of i vector do by do y of j vector plus do by do z of k vector del is called the differential operator see so now you have to find out uh, uh, curl of gradient of phi already you know gradient of phi curl we can take that cross product del cross gradient of phi that is del cross into gradient of phi this is curl of this this is curl of gradient of phi this is equal to curl of gradient of phi this is equal to determinant here i j k i cap j cap k cap then do by do x do by do y do by do z then gradient of phi is do phi by do x do phi by do y do phi by do z see now we can expand determinant expansion if a determinant expansion is see here i vector open the bracket you can do the first row first column this is do by do y of what you get do squared phi by do y do z this do by do y of do phi by do z can be written as do square phi by do y do z minus of do square phi by do y do z next minus j vector you can leave the first row second column do by do x of do phi do square phi by do x do z minus do by do square z by do square phi by do x do z plus k vector equals you can leave the first row and third column do by do that is do by do x of do phi by do y is do square phi by do x do y minus do square phi by do x do y equal to e see here this and this will be same get cancel this will get cancel you get zero hence the curl of gradient of phi is equal to zero next prove that divergent of a vector cross b vector is equal to b vector dot curl a vector dot a vector dot curl b vector see here this can be take lhs what is the lhs is given divergent of lhs is divergent of a cross b equals see a divergent of a cross b can be written as you can use the summation summation of i vector dot divergence means you can write do by do x of a cross b suppose if you remove the summation you can write i into do by do x of a cross b plus j vector dot do by do y a cross b plus k vector dot do by do z a cross b or right because i am using summation you can write only i component now you can now cram i i vector dot do by do x of a cross b now you can multiply this this is equal to what this equals see here 
I vector summation of I vector dot do a by do x cross b you can write one term plus summation of I vector dot do b vector by do x cross a vector you can write. So, here interchange the dot to cross interchange dot to cross this is equal to summation of I vector dot cross do a by do x dot b interchange. So, here while interchanging here you can minus will come by the identity. So, you know the identity a vector you know the identity a vector dot b vector cross c is equal to a vector cross b vector dot c vector is equal to minus of a vector dot c vector cross b vector use the identity this becomes minus minus of summation of i vector dot do i vector dot do b vector by do x e dot a vector this can be written as curl of a vector dot b minus curl of b vector dot a the hence the proof. So, here if r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector and modulus of r vector is equal to r find gradient of divergent of r vector by divergent of r vector by r. So, here r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is given then what you get see here. r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. Then modulus of r vector is square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Then modulus of r vector is r is given you can substitute r squaring on both sides. Then r square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Then if it differentiating partially with respect to x and x differentiating partially with respect to x r squared r squared differentiation r is not a constant r is a function of both x y z then r squared differentiation is 2 r into dou r by dou x x square difference 2 x y square is 0 z square is 0 2 and 2 will get cancel dou r by dou x this r r you can transfer to r h s x by r dou r by dou x is equal to x by r similarly dou r by dou y is equal to y by r similarly dou r by dou z is equal to z by r you have to find out. Now what you have to uh, find out gradient of divergent of r vector by r see here diverge first you can write divergent of r vector by r r vector by r can be written as see here divergent means dou by dou x of r vector into 1 by r can be written as r to the power of minus 1 or you can write it see here divergent of of r to the power of minus 1 into r vector this is equal to divergent of r vector means what r vector means x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector r to the power of minus 1 into x i vector r to the power of minus 1 y j vector r to the power of minus 1 z k vector this is divergent of. Now divergent of means you have to find out dou by dou x of r to the power of minus 1 x plus dou by dou y of r to the power of minus 1 y plus dou by dou z of r to the power of minus 1 into z. See here now you have to differentiating partial with respect to x this term. If you differentiating partial with respect to x this is a product of two function r to the power of minus 1 is constant x differentiation is 1 plus x is constant r to the power of minus 1 differentiation is minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 into dou r by dou x. Next plus see here again differentiating partial with respect to y these two again it is a product of two function r to the power of minus 1 y differentiation is 1 plus y, in, uh, y into 
r to the power of minus 1 differentiation is minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 into dou r by dou y. Next plus same thing here differentiating partial with respect to z r to the power of minus 1 z is a product of two functions r to the power of minus 1 z differentiation is 1 plus um, z into r to the power of minus 1 is minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 dou r by dou z. See here after differentiating see here, here also r to the power of minus 1 here also r to the power of minus 1 here also r to the power of minus 1 if adding you get 3 times of r to the power of minus 1 here r to the power of minus 1 r to the power of minus 1 r to the power of minus 1 is 3 times of r to the power of minus 1. Now, here you know dou r by dou x value dou r by dou x value is x by r you can substitute here in place of dou r by dou x you can substitute x by r in place of dou r by dou y you can substitute y by r in place of dou r by dou z you can substitute z by r. So, here if you substitute x by r x into x squared minus x squared here 1 by r is r to the power of minus 1 and r to the power of minus 3 here minus this x into x squared r to the power of minus 3 similarly here you can substitute in place of dou r by dou is y by r that is y squared r to the power of minus 3 here similarly minus z square r to the power of minus 3 into this this is equal to 3 r to the power of minus 1 see here here also minus r to the power of minus 3 here also minus r to the power of minus 3 here also minus r to the power of minus 3 take common then 3 into r to the power of minus 1 minus of what you get here take out r to the power of minus 3 outside x square plus y square plus z square remaining then x square plus y square plus z square you know r square you can substitute 3 r to the power of minus 1 r to the power of minus 3 into r squared you get 3 r to the power of minus 1 minus r to the power of minus 1 3 r to the power of minus 1 and minus r to the power of minus 1 can be written as 2 times of r to the power of minus 1. So, here this is divergent of r vector by r is 2 r to the power of minus 1. Now, this term by using this equation you have to find out the gradient of divergent of r vector by r. So, here gradient means gradient of divergent of r vector by r equals then what you get gradient means dou by dou x of See here this is divergent of divergent of 2 into r to the power of minus 1 2 into r to the power of minus 1 into i cap plus dou by dou y of 2 into r to the power of minus 1 j cap plus dou by dou z of 2 into r to the power of minus 1 k cap. See here now if you differentiating partial with respect to x here 2 is constant r is not a constant r is a function of both x y z then this is equal to 2 into r to the power of minus 1 differentiation is what you get minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 into dou r by dou x into i cap. So, here this differentiation is here 2 is constant r to the power of minus 1 differentiation is minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 into dou r by dou x i cap similarly plus 2 is constant or minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 into dou r by dou y. Next third, third term differentiation is same thing plus 2 into minus 1 into r to the power of minus 2 dou r by dou z. So, here after differentiating See here, here, here also 2 will have here, here you know dou r by dou x is x by r you can substitute dou r by dou y you can, you can substitute y by r dou r by dou z you can substitute z by r. What do you get here? This is equal to minus 2 r to the power of minus 2 x by r minus 2 r to the power of minus 2 y by r plus minus 2 into r to the power of minus 2 z by r. Now, this equals 1 by r, 1 by r is r to the power of minus 1, r to the power of minus 2 that is minus 2 x into r to the power of minus 3 into i cap into j cap into k cap. See here now i vector minus 2 into here y r to the power of minus 3 j cap minus 2 into r to the power of minus 3 z into k cap. You can take out minus 2 
r to the power of minus take common minus 2 r to the power of minus take common remaining is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector what is x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector is given is r vector this is equal to minus 2 r to the power of minus 3 into r vector this is equal to minus 2 into r vector divided by r to the power of minus 3 can be written as 1 by r to the power of 3 this is the required result next prove that del cross del cross del cross f factor is equal to del into del dot f factor is equal to del squared f factor see here prove that you are going to prove that curl of curl f factor curl of curl f factor equals diverg uh, gradient of divergent of f factor gradient of divergent of f factor minus del squared f factor del squared f factor where f factor is what is given f factor f factor equals f factor equals x squared y into i cap plus zx into j cap Minus three y z square into k cap. This is the given problem. Now first we can find out curl f factor. Curl f factor means determine. You know del is differential operator dou by dou x of i vector, dou by dou y of j vector, dou by dou z of k vector. Using this f factor and curl, you can find out curl f factor. I vector. J vector, K vector, then do by do x, do by do y, do by do z. Then F one is x squared y, z x minus three y z square. This is curl f factor. Now we can determine expansion. Determine expansion is this is plus minus plus. This is equal to i vector. You can leave the first row, first column. Do by do y means differentiating partially with respect to y means. Minus 3z square. Next, if we do with respect to z here, x minus x. Next, minus j vector. You can leave the first row, second column. Do by do x is zero. Do by do z means there is no z term is also zero. Plus k vector is you can leave the first row, third column. Then do by do x means you get z. Then do by do y means minus x squared z minus x squared this is the um, uh, curl f factor see so, now you have to find out curl f factor curl f factor now you have to find out <coughs> curl of curl f factor you have to find out curl of curl f factor you have to find out because you have to prove that curl of curl f factor that is del cross del cross f factor e equals determinant i cap j cap k cap do by do x do by do y do by do z now what is x square this is um, x ka i component is minus 3 z square minus 3 z square minus x then my this is zero next z minus x square this is curl f factor now you can expand it this is equal to i vector you can leave the first row first column do by do means there is no y, y term zero here there is no z term is zero minus j vector you can leave the first row second column do by do x means z difference zero minus x squared is minus 2x here do by do z means minus of minus is uh, plus you get 6z Plus k vector, you can leave the first uh, first row, third column. Do by do, this is zero. This is also zero. K component also zero. Calls equation one. So here after getting curl of curl of factor value, now you can take RHS. What is the RHS is given? Divergent gradient of divergent of f factor. First you can find out divergent of f factor. So here divergent of f factor means 
del dot f factor equals dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z. This is equal to, see here if you differentiating partially with respect to x this term you get 2 x y, 2 x y. Next, if you differentiating partially with respect to y in j component there is no y component is 0. Next, with respect to z here minus 6 y y z minus 6 y z this is gradient divergent of f factor. See so now after getting divergent of f factor you can find out gradient of divergent of f factor. Get the gradient means gradient of divergent of f factor equals what you get dou by dou x del dot f factor into i cap dou by dou a of del dot f factor j cap plus dou by dou z of del dot f factor into k cap. This is equal to see here if you differentiating partially with respect to x and I think if you differentiating partially with respect to x is here 2 x y differentiation is we get 2 y only. 2 y into i cap here there is no x term this is 0. Similarly, differentiating partially with respect to y means what you get here 2 x 2 x y differentiation here minus 6 z because y differentiation is 1 this is a j cap. Next differentiating partially with respect to z days what you get differentiating partially with respect to z days what you get here where there is no z term this is 0 here differentiating partial with respect to z, z differentiation is 1 you get minus 6 y into k cap this is a gradient of divergent of f factor. Now, you can find out del squared f factor, del squared f factor means del squared f factor is equal to what you get dou squared f by dou x i vector plus dou squared f by dou y squared j vector plus dou squared f by dou z squared into k vector f1, f2, f3. See so now if you differentiating what is a dou del squared f factor, f factor is this. See so here if you differentiating this term with res partially with respect to x two times. If you differentiating partially with respect to two times is x squared y differentiation is 2 x y again differentiation is you get x y x y into i cap sorry 2 x that is 2 x y 2 x y differentiation is 2 y only 2 y i cap. So, here, here differentiating partially with respect to y there is no y term this is 0 plus 0 j vector plus if you are differentiating partially with respect to z 2 times 3 y is constant z square difference 2 z again differentiation is 2 that is minus 6 y minus 6 y into k cap. Here you know del square phi and diver gradient of divergent of f factor. Now, you can subtract it what you get del dot divergent of del dot f factor minus del square f factor equals. See here diver gradient of divergent of f factor value is 2 y vector already find out 2 y vector plus 2 x minus 6 z j vector minus 6 y k cap then minus of del squared f factor value is minus of you get 2 y i vector minus 6 y k vector here minus 2 y this y this 2 y plus will get cancel here minus this 2 term will get cancel this is equal to 2 x minus 6 z into j cap cos equation 2. So, here this is gradient of divergent of f factor minus del square f factor is equal to 2 x minus 6 z cos equation 2. Then equation 1 already you know equation 1 again is minus 2 x plus 6 z is over equation 1 then it will uh, LHS go to RHS hence the given uh, problem is proved. Next prove that prove that f factor del 
f vector del cross r vector is equal to minus 2 f vector where r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. First you can find out del cross f, f vector cross del cross r vector you have to find out r vector first you can find out f vector cross del f vector cross del means what See here f vector you have to prove that f vector cross del cross r vector is equal to minus 2 f vector then r vector is equal to x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector. First we can find out f vector cross del i vector f vector you know f vector is f 1 i vector plus f 2 j vector plus f 3 k vector then del is differential operator dou by dou x of y dou by dou y of j dou by dou z of k vector. So, here now you can take the cross product f vector cross del means here i vector this is i vector j vector k vector then f vector means f 1 f 2 f 3 here dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z this is f vector cross del. Now, you can expand it this is equal to i into you can leave the first row and first column what you get f 2 into dou by dou z minus f 3 into dou by dou y next minus j vector you can leave the first row and second column what you get f 1 into dou by dou z minus f 3 into dou by dou x similarly plus k vector you can leave the first row and third column f 1 into dou by dou y minus f 2 into dou by dou x this is f vector cross del. Now, you can find out f vector cross del cross r vector you have to find out. See here this f vector cross del cross r vector equals determinant i vector j vector k vector. See here then what do you get del where f vector cross means this is i vector j vector k vector. Now, you can write this what do you get f 2 f 2 dou by dou z minus f 3 dou by dou y one term next j component is minus of f 1 dou by dou z minus f 3 dou by dou x next k component is f 1 dou by dou y minus f 2 dou by dou x here what you get r vector r vector is what is given x y z because r vector i component is x y j component is y is k component is z. Now, you can differentiating partially with respect to i i vector open the bracket here you can leave the first row you can use the summation it is very easy if you use the summation this is equal to summation of if you use the summation you can expand only i i vector what you get here you can i vector you get f 2 f minus f 1 minus f 1 you get minus 2 f 1 similarly you can find out similarly you can find out um, minus 2 f 1 i vector minus 2 f 2 j vector minus 2 f 3 k vector take out minus 2 common f 1 i plus f 2 j plus f 3 k vector that is minus 2 f vector. Any questions please if you ask any questions through email also thank you. What are you